Gamescom may have just wrapped up in Germany, but this episode of new releases sports a new football game for all you Europeans out there. There's also some Japanese games making their way to the West, and a pair of really anticipated indies. Let's get to it. First up is Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate, which launched in Japan last year. This is an HD version of Monster Hunter Double Cross, which itself is an expansion of Monster Hunter Generations. What all of that means for you is a bunch of monster slaying using 14 different weapon styles, coupled with Generations hunting arts. These are special moves that let you dodge or deal damage to a monster, or buff or heal the party. You can start the adventure on Nintendo Switch on Tuesday, August 28th. The other big Japanese game returning this week is Yakuza Kiwami 2. It's finally getting a worldwide release, so if you've never taken Kazuma Kiryu for a spin in the original Yakuza 2, now's your chance to do it with new gameplay enhancements and cutscenes that iron out the wrinkly parts of the story. There's even a whole new scenario starring secondary protagonist Goro Majima. That's all happening on PS4 on Tuesday the 28th. And now a little something for the Euro crowd. Pro Evolution Soccer 2019 is the latest in the long-running series, and it's got a ton of new features like magic moments, which are designed for better shooting and ball control. Specific players will handle differently too, as PES 2019 introduces 11 new skill types across dribbling, passing, and shooting. If you're looking to recreate the latest World Cup Final, you can do that on PS4, Xbox One, and PC on the 28th. I know I'm going to take things a little further back to that infamous headbutt. Moving on to those indie games, first up this week is Donut County. Imagine Katamari but with a hole instead of a rolling ball of junk, and you've got the gist. As you maneuver the hole around each level, you'll swallow objects and grow bigger and bigger. But you can also grab objects to solve puzzles, like using an adobe oven's heat to launch a hot air balloon. If that sounds up your alley, you can start gobbling up the scenery on PS4, PC, and iOS on the 28th. Where Donut County has some parallels to Katamari, this week's other indie game, The Messenger, draws influence from Ninja Gaiden. A young ninja must deliver a scroll that could prevent the destruction of his clan, and he'll get power-ups like shurikens and wall running during the journey. But here's the twist. What starts out as an 8-bit platformer can freely shift into a 16-bit Metroidvania, complete with new art and music. There are sure to be some other twists along the way, and you can find out for yourself on PC and Switch on Thursday the 30th. And those are some of the hottest games we'll be playing this week. As always, remember that release dates are based on retailer listings and are subject to change. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll be back with a look at the full month of September next Sunday.